Hi, I'm Brent Britton. I'm a partner at Gray Robinson in Tampa, and I'm a long-standing member of TBTF. You know, today, it's easier than ever to start a company. Entrepreneurship has become uh, the currency, uh, which we all use now to, uh, to, to be in business, and the tools for becoming an entrepreneur are more accessible than ever. Uh, a week ago, my eight-year-old son decided to start a company, and in the course of a lazy afternoon, uh, we got his company launched and branded and put up his website and started selling his, uh, his, his uh, homemade uh, comic books. Uh, you see, the uh, access to the means of production for business uh, has never been uh, more accessible. For example, um, starting a company is, is uh, actually forming the corporation or the LLC is relatively trivial. You can uh, do it online. Uh, and there are numerous uh, organizations out there that will, that will form an LLC or a corporation for you. Uh, obtaining intellectual property is relatively easy, although uh, you should definitely speak with competent counsel to make sure that you're getting uh, the right representation. Uh, but do consider patents, copyrights, trademarks, and trade secrets as an important part of your company. Um, recognize also that the uh, form contracts that most companies use are available on numerous sites, including one company that I advise called StartupLegalDocs.com. Uh, has uh, a number of uh, form contracts that will typically be used by uh, by a startup company, so you don't need to go to uh, your lawyer for your first drafts of these agreements, although I do recommend that every company, uh, again, consult with counsel to make sure the draft of any contract that they find online, whether they've paid a little or a lot for it, is competent uh, for their needs. Um, it's really important to make sure uh, that if you're going to start a company that you're committed to the, uh, to the effort that's going to be required. Uh, I used to think you could start a company on nights and weekends, and, and I still think that's true in many cases, but it's really important to remember that starting a company can very rapidly become a, a, a full-time effort, um, and you need to make sure that you've, uh, that you've committed uh, the su uh, sufficient resources, both in your personal and your professional life, uh, to getting the job done. And that's really important when you're building your team, uh, because you're all going to make commitments to one another that you're going to be starting this company uh, together, and that you're all going to get certain things done. And that leads me to my final point, which is, uh, which is equity. Uh, one of, the, one of the, the trade offs for not taking a salary in your startup company is that uh, you get to own large chunks of it, uh, and so do your business partners. And most entrepreneurs start a company and simply hand that equity out uh, on day one. You get a third, I get a third, and the other person gets a third of the company. And I recommend that in some cases that's not necessarily the best course of conduct. It might be wise to vest that equity over a period of time. Make sure that people don't get stock in your company until they've performed the job that you're bringing them in to perform. Uh, that way there's no hard feelings down the road when somebody's got a big chunk of your company but they haven't been showing up to all the meetings or getting the job done. So there are tons of resources available uh, for any uh, person who's interested in becoming an entrepreneur. You can check out my website at brentbritton.com uh, and ideastomoney.com to get a sense of some of the tools that I've found that are available to help you start your own company. Um, and uh, so good luck. Thanks. Bye.